Hey everybody, it's a glider cat and it's time to play today, today, today. This is awesome. We are going to start kind of a preview season on Astro Colony. Uh, if you saw my early preview video on Astro Colony, you can kind of understand why I'm excited to play. And I'm just noticing this little rocket animation here over the O. I don't know if you caught that in the black hole on this other O. Anyway, there's a demo that, that the uh, developers made available to me. I'm super appreciative of that. So thanks goes out to him for that. Let's jump right on in. I'm going to go ahead and hit start demo. I'm going to stick with these defaults. Oxygen consumption on, enable bot on, booster. I don't even know what that is, but we'll leave it off. Free construction off. I'm guessing that's like a creative mode or something. And then unlimited technology points. Off. I'm not sure what that's all about, <clears throat> but we'll leave the default settings. It says uh, Kickstarter adventure. There's a little typo there. Kickstarter adventure. Welcome colonizer. In this scenario, you will learn how to extract resources to build devices. With new discovered technologies, you will provide electricity and automatize your first space colony. It's up to you what you're going to discover. Thank you for supporting Astro Colony. So this again is just a demo. It may not, uh, I'm sure there's a bunch of functionality that's not in the game yet. And so, yeah, just keep this in mind. This is a very, very, very early kind of pre-alpha, I'd call it pre-alpha content. So just be aware this could change what we see here. And it's, uh, I'm sure there's a ton more content coming. All right, let's hit play. All right, we've got a little robot here that's going to guide us. I played for about an hour before uh, I started recording here. So I know a little bit about what's to come here. It says, welcome colonizer in the demo. I am a bot and I have been programmed to guide you in your learning. Follow my advice and start creating your own astro colony. I intend to. All right, use WASD to move. We'll do that. Space to jump. And then it says, toggle the jetpack using X. It will keep you mid air and you can control the height with space and alt. So if I hit the X key, and you can see in the top right, there's uh, some shortcuts you're showing us. So I turn on the jetpack and I hit space and it lets me kind of stay up in the sky here in space. In theory, there's not really gravity here anyway, but maybe our platform has some kind of artificial gravity that sucks us back down. Anyway, we'll probably keep the jetpack on. Let's go ahead and hit next. To expand your space station, you will need to collect some basic resources. Look around the station to find floating asteroids. You need to extract iron and copper. And then if you look over on the left side of the screen, it's uh, the kind of tutorials giving us some tasks here. It says extract four iron ore and extract two copper ore. So let's go do it. I think if I hit tab, you can see a bunch of shortcuts in the top right. So I'm going to hit V for the miner, a little mining pick. And then I'll hit space to kind of jump up. Let's grab this asteroid. It looks like it's got some ice for us. Pick that one apart and let's go. I'm going to hit the space bar to zoom up here with my jetpack. I believe this is going to give us copper. So we'll mine some of these asteroids that are floating around. And like any automation game, <laughs> like every automation game, we start out kind of slow hand mining things. Uh, if you've watched the channel, you're very familiar with this because I feature a lot of automation factory games. And we always start out manually mining some resources. So let's do it. We still need to find some iron, but all there it is. There's some iron. But everything we collect is going to be useful. We'll make use of it actually pretty quick. Okay, we're getting iron and ice. Looks like we completed that little part of the tutorial. I'm going to chip away a few more of these, though, just while they're all closed, because that's not always the case. I'm just going to opportunistically chew up some more of these asteroids. Like I said, we're going to use all of this material. That copper would be good, but that one's going to crash. I'm not going to be able to get to that one. Okay, I use the Alt key to kind of decrease my height. Got a bunch here. I might grab a couple more if you don't mind. I know this is maybe not the best thing to watch, but we're going to need this stuff. And it's close by, so let me grab it while it's here. Uh, One more ice cube, maybe. And we need this ice uh, for oxygen. We'll be converting that to oxygen pretty soon. All right, let's head back down, see what our little robot buddy's telling us to do. 
Okay, now it's time to turn materials into something more sophisticated. Open your inventory with the I key and enable handcrafting recipes. You will see how new items are automatically crafted. Ooh, oh, can I get anything out of this before it crashes? Oh, maybe one more. I think we got an iron ore out of that. All right, let's go to I. And the crafting system in Astro Colony is actually pretty cool, the handcrafting. So if I click this little guy here, it looks like a little sheet of paper. These are the recipes off on the right. Here's what we have unlocked. We can craft iron bars by hand and copper bars. Matter of fact, these are all by hand, so they probably don't even need the word hand there. But let's turn this on. Here's the quantity. We can set this to whatever we want. Right now it's on infinite. So I'm going to turn both of those on. And that's really all we have unlocked. Here's the ore that we've mined. We've got some carbon, I believe, and iron and copper. And now it's just going to automatically craft those things when we have the uh, ore on us to do it. Let's grab another couple asteroids here that are nearby and then we'll do the next thing. It looks like we can tell from the task on the, on the left side of the screen that we're going to be learning about oxygen next. That's going to be important. All right, now let's deal with the basic need of breathing. You may have noticed that your oxygen level dropped slightly during the first task. It has. That's in the lower left. And it says, check the oxygen meter in the bottom left of the corner. Okay, we did it. Boom. When the level reaches zero, your body will get injured and will result causing death. It is therefore extremely important to refill the oxygen as often as possible. Use ice inside the oxygen generator for the quickest way to refill it. All right, we'll hit next. To build your first oxygen generator, you have to discover your first technology. Make sure that you collect co collected enough basic science points by digging, inspecting, interacting, or crafting. So as we go, as we chip away at these asteroids, and it looks like as we do other things, we're going to accrue basic science points. And you may have seen some of those uh, accrue as I was chipping away at the asteroids. We'll see more of it. When you have at least two points, go to the tech screen and unlock the first technology. All right. Oh, let's see. Can I get this copper? Probably not. Yeah, too late. Anything nearby? I'm going to look for asteroids, and then we're going to go do our tech point thing. Let's grab this guy here. Not sure what this is going to be. It looks like iron. And then we'll look at the tech points. I'll show you if we get a science point. It should pop up here as we're chipping away. There it is, basic science. So we just got one more like kind of research point. And we'll accrue those as we uh, as we do tasks. Now we're going to automate a bunch of stuff. I'm not sure if we get science points from the automated um, mining and things or if we only get that from kind of manual activities, but we'll find out. Let's grab another couple things here. We're going to need it. Some more iron. And as I chip away at this iron ore, it goes into our inventory and then it automatically is getting crafted into like iron bars or iron ingots. That's what we just set up. All right, let's head down. Uh, let's just get back down on our platform here. I'm going to hit T for tech tree. And there's oxygen. If I hover over the little magnifying glass here, it says it's going to take two science points. And if you look up, kind of towards the top of this window, it's showing we've got 17 science points. Now these other things, these are like, you can almost think of these as different kinds of science packs, I think. Uh, I know for this one, we'll see the next one, this little guy with the gear for a brain. I think that we researched those in a, um, in a laboratory and we have to make kind of science packs. Anyway, these we get just from activity. We've got 17, we only need two for oxygen. I just click it and now it's researched. Okay, let's close this and get the oxygen thing built. Okay, build your first oxygen generator using the items crafted previously. Select the device in the hotbar. It's on F1 and the first position or find it in the construction menu K. When you find the right spot for construction, just press the left mouse button to accept. Okay, so if you look at our hotbar, it's already got items slotted in. And if we hit F1, F2, F3, a lot of the stuff we're crafting is already placed in the hotbar. Now it suggested also going to the construction menu. Okay, I haven't seen that yet. Uh, let's see here. Device. 
Here's the oxygen generator. Let's try it this way. If I click it. Okay, now here's my oxygen generator. We just got to find a home for this thing. And I can rotate it with the R. There's on the right side, they're showing us what we can do. So we'll rotate this guy. I don't know if there's a front or a back. I guess I will leave. Let's see. It is going to need power. I know that. Is it, does it show us the power hookup? But I cannot tell. I think... Yeah, I can't see the power hookup in this little shaded model. Kind of want the power hookup in the back, but we'll just leave a tile all the way around. Drop that guy down. Where is the power hookup? Let's, uh, I'm going to hit V. If I hit tab, look up in the top right. You can see there's all our tools. So V is the pickaxe. So that kind of gets us out of build mode. So I'm just going to hit the V key. That'll get rid of that ghost. Here's our power. Eventually we're going to need power, but we can go in here even without power and click on this use ice to fill oxygen. And if you look in the lower left, you'll see my oxygen meter. Hopefully I've got some ice in my inventory. I think we chipped away some. Boom. So you can see my oxygen meter in the lower left is filling back up. So now we can at least survive a bit. All right. Now you can use your new device to refill oxygen. It will require ice. Okay. Okay, we've done all that. To refill oxygen, open the generator, interact with it directly. Okay, we've done all that. I wonder if they need me to do it again just to complete the tutorial step. Uh, oh, they want us to extract some ice. I see. Let's go find another one of those ice asteroids. It looks like there's some out here. Try to judge how far that is from our station. Doesn't look too bad. So let's chip away at a couple of these guys. And again, early on, we got to do this manually. Eventually, we will get more and more automated ways of doing this. So we're not chasing uh, chasing after asteroids in our jetpack here. But we will be doing a fair amount of it because <laughs> it takes a while to get automated. So we're getting nice. This will all help with our oxygen. And we're getting some science points that will help with the research. Boy, we, yeah, we got kind of far away from the ship. Since we're on our way back, let's grab this guy. He's on the way. I don't know what this is going to be. Iron, maybe? There we go. We'll make use of all this ore. Oh, we got an ice cube, too. And we'll make use of the science. So this isn't wasting time. And some of these asteroids have a couple different resources. That one's going to crash into the deck here before we can get to it, I think. We could try. Actually, this carbon might be a little more valuable to us. Let's grab some of this. And then it looks like they want us to uh, refill oxygen one more time over on the uh, left, all those little tasks. So let's, uh, let's do it. Hop back down. They okay, refill oxygen. Boom. Okay. Now they're happy. We completed the, uh, that set of tasks. Might grab another one here. That's close. Just opportunistically grabbing these. I know it's uh, maybe not the best thing to watch, but we've got to do it. Till we get our automation going. All right, what's our buddy telling us? Let's build the carbon reactor. It's the simplest device that uses carbon for electricity production. Build also the asteroid catcher. It's the first important step towards automation. Isn't that the truth? Let's see... Okay, carbon generator. Looks like it's number two here. Not an oxygen generator. I want two. It's not going to let me build it. I think we need to go into the tech tree and unlock that. Here it is. Electricity it takes three research points. We've got 28. Let's go ahead and click that. And that's while we're here. Let's get asteroid catching. That's five. We still have 25 left. Boom. And let's build. If you look at our hot bar at the bottom left, now we can build this number two. This is the guy, our carbon burning electricity producer. And again, I'm not sure where the power connection is. So we're just going to leave a little space so that there it is. I'll hit V to get out of the, this uh, build mode. We've got asteroids crashing. Ooh, there's one that's got iron. I wouldn't mind... Having a little more on hand. I think this is iron. I could be wrong. There we go. So we'll grab some of these opportunistically, but we're going to build the asteroid catcher soon. But it's going to take 
going to take a little bit of while for us to get this all hooked up and powered. So that's why I'm doing this now. Chipping away, chipping away. All right. Let's see what our buddy tells us. Here he comes. Let's build a carbon reactor. Okay. So our tasks over on the left side, it says unlock and build the asteroid catcher. Whoops. So we unlocked it. It looks like it's on position five, asteroid catcher. Let's put it. I'm going to leave a little room. I'm going to put this guy right there. Now you'll see, and then I'll hit V to get out of the build menu. Okay, this guy has a little power icon. It wants power. Ooh, I'm going to grab this copper. We're going to need this copper actually for um, cables so we can run power from our coal burner over our carbon burner over to our uh, asteroid catcher. So that's why I'm going after this stuff. The ice is for life. We need this for oxygen and then carbon for fuel. So we'll grab this too. All of this is needed for our automation. I don't think I can get this guy. I'm trying. We got one. He's going to crash in. I didn't get the second one, I don't think. All right, let's grab one more of these. I think we're doing okay on ice. If we look at the tasks on the left, it says unlock and craft copper wire and then connect the catcher with the carbon reactor. So that's just running electricity into our asteroid catcher. So let's do it. We need the copper wire. So they mentioned we got to unlock that in the tech tree. Here it is, handcrafting wire that gets us copper wire and this other wire, which is used, I think, for construction. Takes two tech points. We got 29. Boom. That's all good. Uh, I'm going to do destruction too. This doesn't take anything. Yeah, let's just click it. All right. Now we want to go and craft some of that wire. So it says unlock and craft copper wire. Let's go into our inventory. Okay. Copper wire for hand. Let's do like 15 and see what happens here. And then I'm going to turn it on with this little slider. Boom. And hopefully we don't have hardly any copper bars. We have one. So we need to get more copper. Oh, oh, wait a second. Yeah. Yeah. We need to get more copper. We need to find more of those asteroids. All right. There's one straight ahead. Let's do it. And I'm not sure how far we can use our jetpack to fly out here, but we're going pretty good distance here. Let's see. I think alt. Yeah. To get down here, we're going to need a fair amount of wire. To get to uh, get things. Whoops. That's not us. We're over here. Keep an eye on our oxygen meter here. We're doing okay. We're getting almost down to halfway down, but I think we've, Ooh, we got some copper out of this guy. I didn't even think this was copper. It's exactly what we need. We need really everything. Copper, carbon, and iron ice. I think we're okay. I feel like we've, we've done a bunch of those already. Let's grab this guy. Looks like it could be copper. We got some planets over there. Those are called planets. They're pretty small, but we'll be setting up mining operations on those. I'm told at least that's the way it looked in the, the, uh, the game's trailer. So that should be cool, but we're a little ways off from being able to get over there. I think. Okay. Let's see if I can get to this guy. It's a little difficult to keep track of where you are in terms of your height relative to the station. So it's not like a point and WASD. You, you kind of keep track of your elevation related to the station with the alt key and the space bar. And then, uh, you know, you steer with WASD. All right, let's grab some more carbon. We really need copper. That's the thing that's holding us back. But I'll mine whatever we've got close to us. Again, we're going to make use of all this. Carbon here, it looks like maybe. Might get something else out of this one. Nope, just carbon. Carbon and basic science. And again, we're in a demo version, so I'm not sure, you know, how much of the tech tree we're going to be able to 
chew through. Ooh, there's some more copper. We'd really need that. Let's go get it. Floating around in our jetpack. Oxygen is getting lower. Gotta can't forget about that, or it's game over. All right, let's get back up. Ooh, let's grab this iron. I think that's iron. Oh, there's another copper. We got to go after that too. And we'll take a look and see how we're doing on that wire. We can start wiring some of it up. Although we have more copper here. I might have to go for this copper. <laughs> how far are we from their platform? Not far. Let's, can I get down to this guy before he smashes into things? Oh, I don't know. I'm trying. Oh yeah, he's going to miss it. That's good for us. Very good for us. All right. Let's see what we can do. Let's sit down and take a look at our inventory. Okay, we've got 45 wire. That's good. And we got 35. I think that's coal, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Um, we'll put the coal in here. That guy should be able to generate some electricity. We can see a little progress bar here. That's good for us. Let's refresh our oxygen before we forget. Forget. Boom, 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 boom. All right. That's pretty good. And now let's run our wire. And I think what I want to do is go straight up to like where the ceiling will eventually be. And then come back down where it's needed. So let's, we can start over here on this guy. I'll show you what I mean. There's our wire. I want to come up. So we'll do, we got to go up fairly high. I don't know how tall all these machines are. But we'll try to do our power up high and our belts down low. Initially, we'll just see how that works. Once we get this asteroid catcher, it's going to help a little. It's not going to help a ton. But it's going to allow us, I think, to get like two at a time and it'll do the chipping away for us automatically. So we'll come back down as I get closer to this to this guy. OK, let me hit V to get rid of that little build menu. If you look off to the right, it says asteroid catcher F to catch asteroids and E to modify. And I don't know what E is. Let's try it. Not much. We can, oh, we can come in here and access the inventory of the asteroid catcher and look at some data. Verify that's um, consuming power. But in order to catch, we got to hit the F key. Boom. And that puts us in this like, almost like a little turret. Unfortunately, I got that cable right in the way. <laughs> I may need to move that cable. That's uh, going to be a little bit of a challenge. Okay, so we have one. Let's grab another. And that one's going to stay floating. So we'll process. We're allowed to process one. And then in the meantime, hold another one in a force field for us. Yeah, that wire, we're going to leave it for now just because we're short on resources. But eventually, maybe we move that wire. Go ahead and fill that up. So that asteroid is slowly being chewed up. Let's see what our little buddy wants us to do. He says, let me explain for you how to construct floors to enlarge your colony. You will need some new crafted materials like iron plates. So we'll hit next. Before you can construct new floors, find the right space on the edge of the colony. And you can start from the floor black. It's already in your toolbar, F2 category three hotkey. But so then if we look to the left, it says construct 10 floors, tiles, whoops. Ooh, I could have grabbed some of that. Too late. So our asteroid catcher processed the first asteroid. And now it's processing the second. That means we can go in and select another. Let's grab this guy. And I'll hit Q to get out of Q to get out of that. And then here's the material that was processed from the asteroids. In fact, we can go select another one too. Let's keep this guy moving. Boom. 
All right, now let's go to the tech tree and unlock those floor tiles. Here they are, iron plate hand. Takes four research. We're up to 52 now because of all that rock chipping. So we'll go ahead and select that. And now we got to go to inventory and craft some of these. They want us to place 10, so let's set the amount here to 10. And turn this on. It's going to chew up some of our coal and iron beam or iron ingots. We've got 13 iron ingots. We only got two coal, so hopefully we'll get some from the asteroid catcher. Let's turn that on. Okay, the asteroid catcher just took another one. Let's target somebody else. How about you? Q to get out of that. Oxygen, I'm going to go ahead and refresh it. Now, the oxygen, it looks kind of tedious, right? We have to keep going back. Um, I think there's a way to create an oxygen bubble over the uh, platform, over the station here. So we won't always have to do that. But again, early on, it's a lot of manual kind of stuff. We saw that we were short on carbon, so I'm going to grab this. We need this for the uh, floor tiles task that we're on now. We'll grab this. We'll keep an eye on our asteroid catcher. We kind of want to keep that guy going full on all the time. Uh, I don't think I can get carbon. This might be a little bit of a push. Yeah, I got one out of it. Let's make sure this guy has always has a couple to pick from. And then let's check his inventory. We'll grab out. We got some carbon, some ice, and some iron. Let's check our inventory. Okay, we're starting to get floors now. They're giving us, so we get, we must get two. Yeah, we get two for every batch and I picked 10. So now we have 20 plates. And then that automatic crafting is done since we completed 10 cycles, which is what we specified. Okay, asteroid catcher's good. Let's find a place. This looks like a suitable place for expansion. I can just go walking off the edge. I'm not going to fall. And we need to place 10 floors. So if I hit tab and I look up to the right, I can see, where is it? I thought we had a little thing, a little hammer. Let's see. Is it M? What does this guy say to do? Okay, it's already in your toolbar. Let's do F2, the third item. Uh, it's not letting me build that yet. Maybe I have to unlock that. I thought we had it. Let's go to the tech tree. Handcrafting plates. Iron plate. I think that's all we need. What am I missing here? Steel smelting, logistics, transports. Yeah, that's belts. Um, I'm kind of wondering why we can't do the floors. What am I missing here? Something obvious, I'm sure. Q. Okay, now tab. Let's try the Q. Yeah, let's try this little tool I've got here. Um, inventory. I've got the plates. Construct the floor. Floor black. Inventory. This is not going to tell us what it is, unfortunately. Uh, let's look here. Iron plates. Where is floor? Black. Let's go to... It's the guidebook. I'm looking for that... Uh, crafting menu. Let's see. Floor. Floor black. It says it takes 20 plates. So I've got it selected here. Here we go. All right, we're placing them. So I had to select the right item and this is being constructed from the plates. So these are floor tiles being constructed from the plates, I believe. If we just placed four or 10, we're good on that. Whoops. I'm going to hit V to get out of this, and then I'm going to go to my asteroid catcher and make sure this guy is always doing something. And again, we'll be able to automate this further. 
Let's bring that guy in. And then there's copper right behind him. Let's see if we can bring that guy in next. Q to get out. Back to get a little bit of oxygen. It is tedious early on here. What else? They want columns and pillars. It says your space station can grow horizontally, but also vertically. Look into columns. They are perfect support for floors and allows you to build on multiple levels. So let's, we kind of know roughly what the height is. Let's put a pillar here. Looks like it's item five on my current hotbar. So I'll select it. Then I'll go hit the Q key for building and do five again, apparently. And what am I missing? I am missing those steel cables or iron cables. You can see there in the pop-up, I need those plates and I need steel cables. Let's craft some of those. Go back into my inventory. Craft. We've got them unlocked. Let's build. We get four per cycle. Let's do five. And that should get us 20. And then we'll turn on the crafting for that. Okay, here they come. Now I should be able to build this pillar. Boom. And then let's build another. And another. And we will... Uh, I'll hit V to get out of the build menu. And we can just advance the tutorial by hitting next. So we've got a few columns there. We can put a floor off of that. But we'll probably go just above this wire once we do. All right, we'll hit next. What do we have next? Okay, there's a spacecraft at your disposal. Use the map M to discover more celestial bodies around you. Okay, we'll hit next. Now go enjoy your freedom. All right, let's go check out the spacecraft. I might go chip this guy away since it's right in my face. We'll get some science points for this and then we'll, uh, we'll queue up the asteroid catcher. Make sure that thing's staying busy. Refill our generator. Make sure that is powering everything. So let's dump some a little bit of carbon in there. Fill up our oxygen. Boom. Let's go to the asteroid catcher. It's sitting idle. We don't like that. We can grab some carbon and maybe some iron. I think that's iron. Q to get out of here, and then let's go check out the spacecraft up. And then again, we get a little message here on the far right near the top saying, enter the sh shuttle by hitting F. And this guy is a lot faster than me, right? And then it talked about hitting the F key, or I'm sorry, the M key, I think, just to look at the map. So I'll zoom out. That's just a generic icon representing our station, I believe. Or maybe that's the ship I'm in. Not sure. Um, yeah, we can kind of see what's going on here. There's a couple planets here. Can I click on those? Okay, Frozen World. I just clicked on this guy. It's telling me a little bit about it. Over here on the right. Frozen, there's... Wow, look at all that carbon. Deposits, iron deposit, copper, gold, uranium. I'm not sure what space station means. I guess we got to build one, and then maybe it would show us. Very cool. Okay, that's Frozen World. This is Sand World. You see on the left here. This guy's got carbon. Okay, so we're going to set up mining outposts. This one's not as rich. I don't know if we, at the Frozen World, we have environmental concerns. Like, is it harder to live there <laughs> or work there? Let's go ahead and click way at the top right. We've got this find yourself thing. Hmm. I found myself. I'm at peace. <laughs> cool. So that's if you were, you know, if you're really navigating this map far away and you get lost where you are, you can just hit the find yourself and it'll center the map back where you are. So I'll hit M again. That toggled the map off. Let's go zip on over here and see if we can make it. I don't think there's fuel to worry about. I don't see any fuel gauge. Just want to make sure we don't end up stranded out here. Uh, if I hit shift, does it go faster? It looks like it. So here's regular speed. Now if I hit shift, watch the uh, watch the engines, the jet engines. Okay, shift. Yeah, so things change a little bit. We go a little bit faster. Let's just go check this out real quick. Now eventually we're going to be able to move our station right nearby if we want. And we'll keep an eye on our oxygen meter. Uh, I think I can just come down in here. Oh, look at this. Okay, I thought those were buildings. They're not. 
Okay, we can kind of see some of what looks like deposits. Right here. Cool. So we've got to unlock a bunch of technology. Uh, let's see. Can we find our station? We've got the little robot icon that's helping us. So if he's straight ahead, that must be where our station is. All right, I'll hit the gas. And we're getting these pop-ups that say can't activate booster. I'm not sure what that is. We had the option when we started the demo to turn that on or leave it off. And we, uh, we left it off. That's the default setting. All right, here we come up on the station. Let's kind of plop this spaceship right where it was. We'll just leave it kind of hovering here a little bit. And then we hit Q to leave. Boom. And again, we don't have to worry about falling. We've got a jetpack. All right, let's call it episode one. Uh, before I forget, I'm going to replenish my oxygen. Because uh, this Let's Play will end abruptly once we die off. But yeah, it's all up to us now. I don't know. I guess we'll leave the robot there. That's kind of helped us get back. Um, yeah, that's it for episode one. We will pick it up in the next episode. We'll do some more research. We'll keep our asteroid catcher busy. And we'll keep our oxygen full. Q. Yeah, but that's it for this one. Let me know if you like this content, uh, please consider giving it a like and let me know in the comments what you think of Astro Colony as a game. Again, I'm playing the demo. Lots could change. So if you're watching this months later, I do tend to feature games very early. And then when there's developments, I see new people come and view these some of my videos that are months old. So if you're if it's months from when this is posted, just keep in mind the game has probably changed uh, and been improved. And I'm just playing a free alpha demo. So keep that in mind. But yeah, for now, this is GladderCat signing off saying thanks again so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next episode.